Hi, this is Don Whitakin from Swarm Interactive, and in this tutorial, I'm going to take a few minutes to show you just how easy it is to make a Viewmedica playlist. I've already logged into my Viewmedica dashboard, so to get started, I'm going to simply click Playlists. Now we're at our playlist menu, and you can see on the left I have a few playlists already created, and on the right you can see the active playlist and several items that have been put into that. At this point I want to create a new playlist, so I'm going to click the New Playlist button. I need a title. And I'll hit Save. Now I'm ready to build my playlist. Playlists can be made up of Viewmedica videos, your own videos hosted on YouTube, text slides, and image slides. We'll add all four content types to this playlist starting with Viewmedica videos. So to add a video, I'm going to click Add Viewmedica Video. From here I can scroll to find my content, or I can use the search feature. I'm going to use search. I'm going to get arthritis of the knee, and I'll search again. And I'll get total knee replacement. You can see I have two videos chosen, and I'll hit save to add those to the playlist. and now they show up in the playlist as the first two items. Now I'll create an introductory text slide. Under Add Custom Content, I'll choose Create Text Slide. I'm going to name my slide, give it a headline, and some text. I can make some adjustments to how that looks. I'll center it, try a different background, and I can also decide how many seconds I'd like that to appear on the screen. When I'm done, I'll hit Save and Add to Playlist. Next, let's use the Custom Content menu to add an image slide. Now, I've used Photoshop to create an attractive slide, and I've uploaded to my personal website. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that to this playlist. Under Add Custom Content, I'll choose Create Image Slide. Again, I need a name. And in this case, the URL where I've stored the slide. I'll hit Preview. And my slide shows in the preview area. If I don't see my slide in the preview area, that means I typed in the address to the slide incorrectly. I can also set the amount of time here. I'll leave that at 10 seconds. And when I'm happy, I'm going to hit Save and Add to Playlist. Finally, I want to add a YouTube video from my YouTube channel. So from Add Custom Content, I'll choose Create Video Item. I'll name the item. And I need to put in the YouTube ID for that item. I'm going to go over here to another tab where I've pulled up my video in YouTube. To get the ID, I can simply click Share, and the ID is shown in this box. I'm going to copy that, and then I'll go back over and drop in that code from YouTube. I'll hit Preview to make sure I've got it hooked up OK. I can see the video start to load. That tells me that I've got a good code here. And when I'm done, I can hit Save and Add to Playlist. Now you can see that all of my items are stored here, but they're in no particular order. So let's go ahead and get those organized. I need my intro slide to go at the top, so I'm going to click that and drag it to the top. I'd like my image slide to go between my two Viewmedica videos, and that looks good. I can see that my playlist is going to be 8 minutes and 55 seconds long. The last thing that I'd need to do with this playlist is put it on a web page in my site. So for that, I would click Get Embed Code. Now I can just copy this embed code, send it to my web developer, put it on a page, and the playlist is ready to be used.